Cancer. This is your finance and career reading for April 2022. Please hit like and subscribe uh, for a chance to win a free reading, hypnosis, or whatever I do. Please also visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading. I try to keep it all pretty reasonably priced, so um, on purpose, because I think that people charge too much. <laughs> so anyway, um, with that said, uh, please visit also Metaphysical Meanderings. That's my podcast, Saturday mornings, live at 9.30 a.m. Central on YouTube here, uh, 216 The Net, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So anyway, joke of the day. So I get so mad, you know, when my phone's all broken and my therapist, I talk to my therapist about it. My therapist says, yeah, you just need a new outlet. There's your joke. <laughs> so, all right. So today, what's going on is that you have an opportunity coming and it's money and there's a, quite a bit more money somehow. There's money involved in a positive way. Now, you are not feeling appreciated, and it's time, and it says that in the, in, in, it says that in these cards. You're seeking that, and you're going to get it. That means the happy family, the happily ever after. Things are starting to go your way. Very, very lucky card. Now, you're scared to death. You're scared. You're scared to make that move forward. Oh, should I do this? Should I do this? Should I do this? And it's something that you want. It's something that you need. Now, I'm going to tell you, this is either money coming in or money going out is what I always say. So it has to do, though, with your your inheritances, the money that you would give to, to somebody when you die. And so, like I said, it's something that you want, though. So there's money. There's somehow money involved in it. Now, it's an opportunity. So it's very possible it's an increase. Um you know, look at this. This is a good luck fortune card. Well, this is the transformation card. Look at this. You are you don't even realize how significant these cards are the way they lay. Now, there is a change. It's not as severe as the tower card, but there's a change going on. And it's urging you to talk things out because there's an emotional message coming through for you. And I want to say maybe you're going to have to decide. Now, like I said, you're you're this is useless worrying. You don't it it's almost like it's been predestined. And it is an opportunity that's coming that you cannot turn down. And like I said, from March to May is our time. It's very, very lucky for everybody. I want you to take a look at astrocafe.com and I want you to take a look and see where your Pisces sits. Pisces, because Jupiter's in Pisces, Jupiter's the card of luck, or the, excuse me, the planet of luck. And wherever Pisces is, is where your luck sits. So if you're in the house of family, it'll all be about your family and, and home life. So see how that sits. And if you don't know what the houses mean, just look them up. It's, it's really, really simple. I'm eventually going to start doing stuff, talking more about astrology because I am taking some classes. Um, the more I get into it, the more it's so true. So, okay. Anyway, you know, you've got your own card here. And that was in the recent past. It's very interesting. So like confusion, um, you know, which way you should go. But look at the cards and how they sit. These are like some of the, the I'm telling you, these are like the, some of the best. These are like some of the best cards in the deck. And look at them sit. Look at them sit. Do you see how there's tens? Look at all the tens. So it means there's a completion going on. Something that you're getting. That's a nine, but that's a ten. There's three, three tens. I mean, which, and there's and a couple of nines. You're in the process of a completion cycle. And with, with something getting ready to start anew. Um, tens usually mean one, one week, one month. Um, one, two, three, ten days, days, weeks, months. Um, one month. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So it's going to happen. Now, you're expecting something to be hidden. That's, you haven't you, you don't know all your information yet and you expect that you kind of know already so just remember that you need to go with this you need to go with what's going on here it's yeah now everybody in my life's cancer <laughs> everybody's cancer it's crazy anyway um so 
I should tell my husband, go play the lotto or maybe he's good. I, I kind of know what it is, but it's not a job for him. It's something else, something else he's been needing and wanting for a long time. And because this doesn't have to represent a job. It's something that you, that you, you, it's tangible. It's, it's the start of something good. And I understand it though. And I'll have to make him watch this video. <laughs> so you are good enough. Remember, don't, don't lack your self-esteem through any of this. Okay. Communication is your key. Make sure you're communicating because you could go to shut down your cancer. Okay. It's time to take action. Time to take action. Time to take action. All right. Notice how all the cards always go together. A time for healing, too, because you're going to get what you want and you need that. By the way, if you hear my chicks, my chicks are thirsty. I have to go after this and feed. I have, I have a dozen chicks right now in a brooder. And they're getting pretty big and they're starting to make a lot of noise. I'm sure you can hear them. Um, conclusions are within reach. So you're going to conclude something out, start something new. I'm telling you. And it's good. It's a good thing. It's just you're worried about it. I'm, I don't see why you're worried, but, you know, we, we're, we're just pre pre predisposed to, to worry. The energy is gaining momentum. So with that said, go for it. Do this, do this, do this. <laughs> I got this message from my lab, from Gemini. Be bold. Don't be afraid. Think about it. Blessings to you and make it a great month. 